A double shooting in New Orleans last year left a teenager dead and her friend hurt. Police said they were targeted as they were sitting in a car. Uh, since then, there have been no answers as to who's responsible. Mike McDaniel continues our series, Cold Case. Kimberly Gentry never thought one of her kids would be the victim of a violent crime. She says they're just not troublemakers and had no reason to believe when one of her daughters left home with a friend, she'd never come back. A double shooting during the afternoon has left the family pleading for answers. I picked it out. I got it made for her, but she kind of went with the design. Kimberly Gentry still has the prom dress her daughter wore as a high school senior. It was a time of celebration. Gentry says her daughter was looking forward to the future. But a year and a half later, 19-year-old Paige Terragana was killed in a double shooting not far from her New Orleans East home. Someone called and said the car page was in got shot up. It happened back in September outside a tire shop on Chef Highway in the Plum Orchard area. Gentry says her daughter was getting a tire fixed with a friend. That's when police say several men opened fire. My 15-year-old daughter say, Ma, don't come here. They have yellow tape everywhere. Gentry says Terragano was still in the car when she got there, but police wouldn't let her see her. But they asked me, did she have a butterfly tattoo? On the side of her leg, I was like, yeah, they was like, that's her. Terragano died at the scene. Her friend was shot in the head but survived. She's the niece of city councilman Oliver Thomas. From what everything we know and we've heard, it was a targeted, it was a hit. It wasn't her car, but they still targeted her. Not knowing who they are is the hardest part. Every day I'm scared because I don't know. I don't know if the person next to me in the grocery store is the person or... The gas station is hard. I live my life every day in fear because I don't know. Gentry also doesn't know much about the investigation. To this day, she still doesn't know how many times her daughter was shot. I never went and got the autopsy because I don't want to read it. The autopsy will tell me, but I just never went to get it because I don't want to, you know, I don't want to read it. It's hard. So were the holidays. The first ones without her picky eater around. It just was hard during the holidays when I'm just cooking and she's not here to say, I don't eat that. Fix me something else. It was, it's hard. Terragano was the second oldest of five kids. This is a baby picture of me and her. She was really close with her younger sister, Dakari Young. We just did everything together. They had a tight bond. The simple things meant the most. She'd take me with her to get something to eat. She would want me to just come lay in a bed with her and watch movies. Like she always did my hair like every week. Terragano was in cosmetology school. She loved makeup and wanted her own business. She's just like this tomboyish girly girl. Like she wouldn't wear heels, but she'll wear tennis shoes. But she kept her makeup done and her hair done. But with the tennis shoes, not the heels. This is her closet. I still like have her stuff in bins. Gentry has now moved her family out of the city and even made space for Paige. When back in the city and around that tire shop, she relives that day. When I go, I see the car. Even though it's not there, I see it. Almost eight months after losing her daughter, Gentry hasn't lost hope. I'm not going to stop fighting until I get justice. She was an innocent little girl and he just stole her life away. There's a $5,000 Crime Stoppers reward in this case. Paige's mom is now working to create a network of moms who've lost children to violent crime in hopes of supporting each other and bringing awareness to the problem. Mike McDaniel, Eyewitness News. So sad. We'll have one more cold case story from Mike tomorrow. You can see all the others on our website, WWLTV.com. And as always, if you know anything that could help these families gain some closure, please call the Crime Stoppers.